Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of Glory Hunter with Liverpool. Welcome to the quarter-final of the Champions League second leg against Newcastle. Now, for long-term fans of this series, when we were into Milan manager, we were beaten by Newcastle 5-0 in a quarter-final of a Champions League two years ago now and I haven't forgotten. Can we put them to the sword and make it to the last four. Let's find out. But before we do, let's take a look at the results we've had since we've last been together. And we start following the game with Everton in the Merseyside derby. Where we beat Newcastle in the league by two goals to one. A goal for Darwin Nunes and a goal for Cody Gakpo. Then we lost at the Amex. We were beaten by three goals to two. Diaz and Clark with our goals. But we did bounce back by beating Newcastle in the away game by two goals to one. Gakpo and Canate with the goals. And then a much changed side beat Bristol City or laboured to beat Bristol City. Canate and Mudric with the goals. So our opponent has been revealed for the FA Cup semi final. We take on Chelsea at Wembley next time around. And we will see that game. In the Premier League, we are nine points clear with six games to play. It is a two horse race now. Southampton have sadly fallen away off the pace but they still are going to make European football which is a fantastic feat for them see so yeah, Manchester City are nine points behind we've both played the same amount of games as well so we're near enough there we will come back for that of course to see if we are crowned Premier League champions but it's all concentration today on the Champions League we have a slender lead going into the home game with Newcastle and I'm really hoping Lightning doesn't strike twice in the home game. As here are the two starting lineups. We start with Allison in goal, Alexander Arnold, Gerhi, Van der Veen, Gertruda, Wharton, Kamara, Gakpo, Sobotsai, Mudric with Kanate leading the line. As Newcastle start with Van Vorst in goal, Lewis, Penny, Botman, Tierney, Tanali, Gamarez, Pepe, Doku, Nonto with Isaac leading the line. And the memory's still fresh in my mind of what happened when we were at Inter. It spurred us on to bigger things the following season, of course. But yeah, it was a hammer blow at the time. Can we avenge what happened there? I hope so. I really do. You see, Newcastle, they've done all right in the Champions League. In FM. They made the semi-finals last year. Obviously, they made the semi-finals the year before. They haven't gone better, of course. Can they do it this year? Hopefully they are. Obviously, we are still on for the Q word. We've got one in the bag. We've potentially got the second one with the Premier League. The FA Cup is almost there as well. Can we add all four? I mean, we don't need to at this point. We're just doing it because I want to do it. For shits and giggles. Still got that Conference League to win, though. That's going to be the tricky one. Ball over the top. Oh, deflected by Kieran Tierney. We'll deal with that at some point. Obviously, we've still got Spain to do. We've still got France to do. So we've still got plenty to do. As the ball comes into the penalty area. Van der Veen heads towards goal. And it's saved by the goalkeeper. It's a good start, though, from us. As we try to put the tie to bed early doors. You would fancy a 3-1 lead will do it. But I know from past experience that the 3-1 lead is never guaranteed. Sobotsai into Gakpo. Sobotsai again playing it towards the far post. Tierney heads it away. Throw in. We have raced through the first half. I mean, that's good in a way because Newcastle haven't had the comeback yet. And we have another corner. We haven't even seen Allison yet. He is here somewhere. And he's probably sitting down with a nice cup of tea. And that is half time. Nil nil. Been okay, I guess. I mean, we haven't conceded. I think that's the one thing we can. Look at a positive. Still getting PTSD from that game, as I mentioned earlier. Can't believe we lost that 5 0. And then, admittedly, we did have a man sent off. So, yeah, Roger Ibanez didn't play any more games after that, funnily enough. And he was gone by the summer as well. So, what's so? Trying to get things going. Newcastle, they're going to have to come out at some point. They are going to have to score at some point. Don't look like they're going to do it at the moment. Alexander Arnold with the throw. Looking for Sobotsai. Finds Tierney instead. Botman. 
plays it into Gamara's in the middle. Plays it through, but Alexander Arnold picks that up. Go on, Trent. Run, son. Will he find the ball into the area? There are four bodies in the box if he can find one of them. And he finds a Newcastle player. Jeremy Doku will get them going the other way, potentially. Finds Gnonto. Plays it on for Goluko. Yeah, we'll go with Goluko. Ball in towards his act. Heads towards goal. Heads wide. Right, let's have a look at a couple of changes ourselves. 25 minutes to play. Going to take Kanate off. We're going to bring Darwin Nunez on. We're going to take off Cody Gakpo as well. Benani is going to come on for him. Going to take off Adam Wharton. And bring on Michael Watson in midfield. Young Michael Watson is doing well, to be fair. Playing more and more. Alexander Arnold with the throw. Sabotso. Plays it on to Watson. There's a nice ball over the top looking for Banani. Heads it down for Alexander Arnold. Kamara. Plays it on. Flicks it in looking for Darwin Nunez. There we go. That is the goal that finishes it. 14th of the season for Darwin Nunez. That is the game over. Lovely ball in. From Trent Alexander Arnold. Or is it Kamara? I think he plays it back to Trent. Yes, he does. Nice little chip in. Headed towards goal. Lovely goal. 1-0. We take it. Probably going to be the shortest episode we've ever made, but we're through. Right, let's have a look at a couple of substitutions, shall we? As Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to come off after that good work. Livermento is going to come on for him. And we'll take off Slobotsai as well for Danny Olmo. Kamara looking for Mudric. Can he find a ball across the front of goal? Does. Ooh, cleared away. As if Newcastle are going to get back into this, they're going to have to work hard. Banani with the shot. Oh, nearly the second one to kill it. I mean, it's pretty much dead as it is, but yeah, that would have finished it off. Not on the attack for Newcastle. Plenty of bodies back for us. Coming down that right-hand side. Ball in towards Jeremy Doku. Will he get the header on goal? No, Mickey van der Ven heads it away. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind here, Mickey. There's a reference. Ball in. Lewis. No. Finds Gamares. Into Salvador. And cleared away. Darwin Nunez flicks it down. I mean, he's so much better than his real life counterpart, isn't he? So much better. Love it. And it'll be semi final time in the Champions League. Lots to come in this season. As Liveramento comes forward, plays it low, cleared. Watson picks it up. Kamara. It's a Mark Gerhi. Plays it on to Liveramento. Will he get another ball over? Should do. Does. Low. Cleared away again. Watson. Kamara. Just keep banging on the door, lads. That's what I want you to do. Beat them into submission. Liveramento again going low. This time hits the side netting, but behind for a corner. To be fair, I've been surprised by Newcastle today. I thought they would come out. I thought they would give it a go. But they really haven't. They really haven't imposed themselves at all. I know at 2-1 it's a difficult scoreline you know you need to push for a goal they might well get one Mickey van der Ven trying to take him out good block Mickey was going there if he'd made any contact at all whatsoever Mudric it's all of a sudden burst into life in the final 15 minutes isn't it with Newcastle I guess pushing for a goal it's going to start to leave gaps but there are plenty of them back behind the ball at this point yeah they're giving themselves more attacking options good to see I mean, it will leave them exposed at the back, but it's good to see. Livramento. Cross to Kamara. Have a shot, son. Might as well. He does have a go. Save for the keeper. I mean, it opened up. It was too good an opportunity to turn down. I mean, Allison is much. Shoot, Allison. No, no. Too much. Van der Ven. On to Kamara. Into Watson. Go on, young man. Pulling the strings in the middle of the park. Livramento. Goes early, looking for Danny Olmo. Will he get the header on goal? No, he won't. The Amande beat him to it. But they do give it back to us. Danny Olmo picks it up inside the penalty area. Makes it 2-0. Makes it 4-1. Game over. A gift. We don't turn down a gift. And we are on our way to the semi-finals of the Champions League. So, yeah, it's a calamitous goal for Newcastle to concede. It's after you, sir, at the back. And Olmo says, thank you very much. Any chance of a consolation for Newcastle? Probably not at this point. Unai Emery's side have reached the end of the road this year. Looking over the top. 
headed forward. Bernani picks it up. And they're not going to make it in the Champions League next year unless they have a drastic upturn in form in the last six games of the Premier League season. Bernani looking to make another goal, perhaps. Plays it on to Mudrich. Good save from the goalkeeper. Thankfully, this will be the last time we see Newcastle this season. I've seen far too much of them. Ooh, good save. I remember when Tottenham did it years ago. We played Wimbledon. We played Wimbledon four times in a month. Once in a replay and then two League Cup ties. That's how long that was ago. We did win the Cup that year, though. 1999. Alan Nielsen and all that. Banani. Ball in towards the back stick. Saved by the keeper. I'm really aware that people won't know who Alan Nielsen is. And that's a criminal thing if you don't know who Alan Nielsen is. Scored a fantastic header to win the game in the 91st minute. My first ever Wembley final as a Tottenham fan. 1999. Remember it well. Even all these years later. Anyway, I'm getting sentimental. The game is about to end. 4-1 is the final score. 2-0 on the night. We've done the job. We've done what we needed to do. No repeat this time for Newcastle. They have gone out with a whimper in the end. We've won it by two. We could have won it by so many more. And our reward in the semi-finals of the Champions League is a belter. Paris Saint-Germain over two legs. Kylian Mbappe and all in the last four. But speaking of things that are in the last four, we are in the last four of the FA Cup and we will come back for that next time around when we take on Chelsea in the semi-finals. And then we'll work out what we're going to do because the Premier League race is almost over as well. And we have a very exciting end of the season to bring to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.